Well, let's go ahead and test out this Predator 3500 super quiet inverter generator. Well, let's go ahead and check out some of its features. It's got the LED screen with the low oil warning, overload warning, and your output. It has Econo throttle, which is, you're supposed to keep it on off when you start. Push button start. Uh, DC 12 volt, two 120 volt, and a 120 here. This is for your 30 amp which as you can tell it's not that but they do send you in the package they send you this right here which just fits in and twists and locks it also has your pull cord in case your battery dies it's a pretty clean looking unit But let's see what it'll do. We're going to go ahead and let start it up and let it run for about two minutes because I haven't run this in a couple weeks. So let's put it on start. Right now it's plugged into the RV, which has the battery chargers on it, it has the refrigerator on it. Turn on the lights, the TV, and see what it does. Okay, the lights and the TV is on. Well, as you can see, it's powering everything. Right now, it's I did turn off the TV. The radio is on, but it's on muted. The lights in here are on. The AC is on. The refrigerator is on. Um, the microwave is on, not running. <laughs> it is on. And it's taking two thirds of its power uh, when the AC is pumping. But right now, it's at what 1700 
that's that's great can do a lot with that why we chose champion 3500 inverter generator for their quietness we didn't want to be those people that would go into a park or be boondocking with other people and have this huge construction generator going on because anybody that owns one like we do they are extremely noisy we wanted one that was meant for RVing so I looked I looked on the internet YouTube and several videos several articles on Google everybody said for what we have the size AC we have what we plan on running that we needed to get a 3500 or a 3000 watt generator as you can see but from what I showed you by having all that stuff on they were right and I got a lot more room I can't run my second AC I've not tried to run the microwave at the same time as the AC but we'll try it one day <laughs> there's a lot of other manufacturers out there that come highly suggested like the Honda the Yamaha amongst others they were just extremely expensive for not knowing anything about inverter generators I didn't want to go out and spend a fortune and it break down two years later not know their history on them I also didn't want to go to some unknown brand that you can't find parts for that would just be a nightmare now I know there's Harbor Freight's all over the states and I felt I was safe by buying one from Harbor Freight so it was between the Predator and one other one which I'm not going to say their names but I couldn't make up my mind on it I was looking left and right uh, Google YouTube I was just looking on everything for about four days and Rose finally came to me and said Alan what are you doing just make up your mind I looked at her and I said I literally can't I, I, I don't know she had left to go pick up some horse food and this is what she did to the exciting part, the run. Yep, when we got it, we put it together immediately, put the battery in, put the oil in, did everything it said to do, and turned it on, and boy, were we amazed. Let me tell you guys something. Watching videos on these inverter generators does it no justice whatsoever. When I turned it on, I thought I knew what it would sound like. I was wrong. It was extremely quiet. As a matter of fact, when the generator's in the back on with the AC on fully going, and you walk up to, your, to the front door, you barely hear it. So if we can barely hear it, then you know your neighbors are gonna be the same way. And now we sleep in the back room right outside the window of where this is at and it's never ne we, we we never looked at each other and said well this is a little noisy it's it's that good now i'm sure a lot of other ones are out there there may be better ones i don't know this was the choice that we made to buy it may not be the right choice for you guys i'm just trying to give you information on what I've seen with this generator. I hope this video has helped you out. Hi guys. Hey Rose. Hey, what are you doing today? Well, you know how this has a 30 amp plug? Correct. Okay, but you have to have that adapter in order to use it for the RV? Correct. Okay, well I've seen a couple YouTube videos oh. that okay. show you 
how you don't need to use that adapter anymore. You can just plug your plug into it. You and electricity. Yep. I don't think so. Make sure to hit the like, subscribe button, share the video, and please give it a thumbs up. See you guys next time.